morning everyone, we're back now for race 2, which looks like it's a uh, night time race, so let's get this underway, see how we go, starting from 2nd again. So here we go now with uh, lower temperatures, lower temps in the tyres obviously, cooler track. I haven't actually really adjusted my setup at all, so I'm just running it as it was, see how we go. Go green, come on, come in there. Oh, that was a better start, but... One thing I do like about this sim is the uh, is the night lights. Very atmospheric, both inside the car and uh, and outside. Let's see if we can hang with the Lambo this time. He really flew ahead last race. on me already. Oh mate, first is just flying ahead. seems a lot more slippy at the moment, obviously taking longer to get uh, heat into the tyres. Bit of a slide there. I think the, the Lambo behind me had the same thing happen. I use the same strategy as last time. As soon as I hear that the pits are open, I'm just going to dive straight in. Get a clear pit lane. Get in and out as quickly as possible. Huge amount of time lost there. minutes 
15 left. I think the, uh, I think the pit's open probably around the 8 minute mark. I'm pretty impressed with how the uh, how it's actually performing on my machine. Haven't any stutters or anything yet. So I'm running at 1440p. 1070. Um, virtual mirror's got 20 meters of um, visibility. So you can see the car just fade away there. I'm fine with that though. It lets me know that I'm either losing time or I'm pulling away. And there you go, slide like that. I don't feel that I could have held that in the uh, in the previous builds. This looks awesome. Look at that lighting. That's brilliant. Okay, there we go. Much more impressed with this than I was with a set of course. I know a set of course is openly moddable and everything else, but the way this feels, um, I'm much more impressed with this, and that's why I think this will probably become one of my. Um, this this will um, be one of my um, standard drives from now on. Just the way it feels now. Absolutely brilliant. And the sheer fact that it runs well on my rig is, um, is very happy about that. I was expecting, being on the Unreal Engine and, and how notoriously hard it is to uh, 
to optimize if you're not epic themselves with every single update that comes out I kind of feared the worst <coughs> the 13th wow okay stay away from those ripples just while the tires are cool Amazing how different a circuit looks under lights. So if we pass any cars, are we passing any? Feel the car wants to rotate through there. <coughs> oh, I messed that up. Oh, there's that Lambo. time through there. Oh, that was horrible. racing in the early access it felt like if I did the same thing twice it didn't feel like it was a repeatable process like I could break the same point in the same car on the same track and I'd get two very different experiences and now I feel like I'm actually getting the same experience every time I do something which is a, a massive thing for me. It needs to feel reliable. If I do something the same way every lap, or close to, it needs to display that in, in the sim. And I feel that it's actually doing that now where it wasn't before.
completely munted that. That's the Honda behind me. In. Just got to hold this guy for five minutes now. Getting darker, getting harder under lights to judge apexes and corner entries. start to um, start to use the actual rubbering on the road as your braking marker you push past what you were originally using as your brake marker and you start to use the rubbering on the road I can't see it now I honestly didn't think that I would feel this way about this sim. All the negativity that's happened in the last couple of weeks since the uh, discussions about multiplayer, my concerns about using the Unreal Engine, um, missing the original version 1 release date, um, it just all kind of... and obviously the way I felt about um, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0.72, um, I'm actually loving the way this race is feeling, how I'm being pushed, how the sim feels, and as I said in my previous like, race, if you can get past the fact that you have those multiplayer issues, and you can get past the fact that if you're running career mode, you have to run all of career mode, um, all of a session, as in a round, because you can't save it, then um, I think you'll, you'll really enjoy this, especially if you like the feel of Sims like uh, Factor 2 and Race Room, then you'll like how this feels now. And hopefully it continues to feel this way and things don't get adjusted too much in um, subsequent patches. No, 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 no. Guard that inside line. I think it's actually a Lamborghini behind me. Side for him. If he can't pass me, he can't pass me.
Okay. Here we go. Last lap after Jackie Hicks. Whew, come on, come on, come on. This will finish on the same lap. He's just flying. Very smooth transition tonight. That was really impressive. Oh, I've got to hold this guy off. He's looking. Through, uh, holding through Boulder here. Oh, well, they got the fireworks. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. I'm really impressed with this. Oh, that wasn't an easy race. I've been pushed and pushed and pushed by that guy. Cross the line. Here we go. Wow. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, whew, give it a thumbs up, uh, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye.